welcome to my youtube channel this is a part 2 of my earlier pump calculation video in that video i explained in very step by step manner how to calculate pump differential head for a given system we also calculated npsh available if you haven't watched that video i highly recommend to watch it you can also download the supporting excel add-in from part 1 to make your hydraulics calculation journey super easy in current video i will take you through how to calculate pump power consumption secondly i'll also show you how can you do some quick math about the energy savings opportunity so without further ado let's dive into this interesting topic of pump power calculation in pump power calculation i will take you through three different power calculation formula namely hydraulic power shaft power and motor power so starting with hydraulic power hydraulic power is the power that is needed by the fluid so it is the power transmitted to the liquid that is being pumped the hydraulic power formula is very simple it is mgh mgh it's very easy to remember so here the m stands for the mass flow rate in kg per second g is the acceleration due to gravity in meter per second square h is the differential head that is generated by our pump in meter so if we rearrange this unit we get like this kg meter per second square multiplied by meter per second so kg meter per second square is nothing but newton newton meter per second newton meter is joule joule per second is watt watt is a relatively smaller term so we can just divide this whole formula by 1000 and we can make it kilowatts you can note here that we do not take into account any pump efficiency or motor efficiency in this formula so take those things into account we have other formula so those are shaft power and motor power so going to the shaft power so shaft power is also known as brake horse power shaft power is the power needed by the pump so shaft power is obtained by dividing the hydraulic power by the pump efficiency motor power is the power needed by the motor so motor power is obtained by dividing the shaft power by motor efficiency so this is the actual electricity that would be consumed by the motor to run the pump now let's use this formula in example now let's solve this example on excel platform so you are seeing the excel sheet that i used in my previous video for calculation of the differential head for a pump we went through this example in step by step manner and we calculated differential head as well as npsh available calculation now we will extend this example further now we will focusing on pump power calculation so we will be calculating hydraulic power shaft power and motor power here i have summarized the mass flow rate of the pump that is 9.92 kg per second and differential head that is generated by the pump it is 56.5 meter and we can easily calculate using the formula for the hydraulic power that is mgh divided by 1000 so m is 9.92 multiplied by the acceleration due to gravity that is 9.81 multiplied by 56.5 divided by 1000 we get this much 5.5 kilowatt now let's say we have already selected some pump model and its pump model efficiency corresponding to this uh, mass flow rate and differential head is around 62% so in that case my shaft power will be like 8.9 this is coming just by dividing this hydraulic power with pump efficiency now coming to the motor power so we have also selected let's say the motor is selected the type of motor and the model of motor is selected and it has efficiency of 80% in that case the motor power becomes 11.1 this number is coming just by dividing the shaft power with the motor efficiency so this is the actual power that is consumed while running our pump why are we so interested in knowing the motor power because we are interested to know what is the electricity bill that we have to pay for running our pump so we need to know two things very clearly one thing is about how is the motor power that we have just calculated and other thing is we need to know about electricity price electricity price is something that you would get to know from your utility department if 
you are purchasing electricity from the outside, then you need to use that cost. If you are producing electricity in-house, in that case, you need to do some calculation based on energy balance, based on some natural gases used or something like that. You need to back calculate what is the cost of my electricity and you need to use that. So here I have taken the electricity price of $0.08 per kilowatt hour. So it is like $0.08 cents per kilowatt hour of energy. And let's say we are interested in knowing what is our yearly electricity bill. So one year is taken as 8,000 operational hours. So yearly operating cost or yearly electricity bill, it is just the multiplication of motor power multiplied by the number of hours multiplied by this electricity price. And this would give you like this much dollars per year we would be spending just for running the pump. Now, I want to take you through one quick method to assess some savings opportunity. To demonstrate this, let's expand this current example. Let's say that vendor has given us two different model choices for our given service. Model 1 is cheaper than Model 2. Model 2 is somewhat more efficient in terms of pump and motor efficiencies. Model 2 is $15,000 more expensive than model number 1. In model 2, because of high efficiencies, we can have lower operating cost. Now, to make a well thought decision, we need to assess that is it a worth spending extra $15,000 for model number 2 for savings in operating cost? Let's assess this aspect on Excel platform. So here in Excel, I have already highlighted the information corresponding to model 1 and model 2. So for model 1 capex is 50,000 US dollars. For model 2 it is 65,000. And for model 1 for the corresponding pump efficiency, motor efficiency, this is the motor power consumption. Very similar way for model 2 for the given pump efficiency and motor efficiency this motor power is coming 9.4 kilowatts. Electricity price that we have considered here is 8 cents per kilowatt hour and the corresponding yearly operating cost is like 7097.8 dollars per year and here the yearly operating cost is somewhat lower because of model 2 has higher efficiencies so the corresponding saving if we use model 2 over model 1 this is the saving that is coming 1079.8 dollars per year so model 2 is $15,000 more expensive. So is it worth spending $15,000 more for this future savings? Now we can prepare cash flow table. So in cash flow table, let's assume that the life of this pump motor assembly is for the 10 years. So year zero, it is the initial investment. So additional investment that you need to make for model two is $15,000 more. And the corresponding savings that is coming as a future cash flows. So $1,079.8 as a savings uh, are coming for each year till the 10th year. Now we need to select the discount rate. So discount rate is something that depends upon your company project financial policies. So it can be 10 percentage, it can be 15 percentage or 20 percentage. So here let's assume that the discount rate we take as a 10 percentage. So NPV, we can use the formula so here the year zero it is already present value minus 15,000. So we don't need to put it into NPV formula. So it is just coming as a, a normal cell plus NPV. And we need to put a discount rate. So it is 10 percentage in all the future cash flows. When you click this, it gives minus 8,364. So the NPV is negative. So it is telling that the future cash flows are not adequate to compensate this 15,000 extra investment. But let's say if we change the electricity price, let's say we are not going to get such cheap electricity, we are going to get around 0.2 dollars per kilowatt hour. So we need to pay 20 cents. In that case, the savings is sufficient enough. It is adequate enough to compensate that extra investment for the model number two. You can see the NPV is positive now. So you can do this kind of quick mathematics on any cost benefit analysis. And you can give some well thought decision about whether to go for more expensive model or not based on such analysis. 
based on the benefit calculation, you can make a well thought decision about whether to choose, whether to go for this model or that model from the financial standpoint. We have now reached to the end of this video. We have covered pump power calculation method to assess different alternatives from financial standpoint. You can download my Excel workbook from the link in the video description. If you haven't watched my part one, I highly recommend to watch it. If you like my video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.